sitting here trying to work out how many crime series I'm in the middle of reading because uh, I haven't done any. This is probably the longest I've gone this whole month without reading any crime fiction, mystery fiction. Um, wait a minute, it's only been like two weeks. What am I talking about? Because I just finished that Valentino series. Um, but I've been reading a lot of other stuff for challenges and things like that. And I've got this next month, I'm really going to focus on horror fiction. But I did squeeze in a couple uh, in the series that I'm reading. I just finished The Pusher, Ed McBain, 87th Precinct, uh, third one. So that's a series I just started. I read the first two last year. And I've got about 28 of those. The first 28 or so, I keep uh, checking on Amazon. And when they go down to, uh, I would always buy them when they go down to 99 cents, different ones. And I decided it's probably good to actually read them since I own them all. And that'll get me pretty far on my 100 book challenge. It'll get me a quarter of the way there if I just read everything left in that series. The book I'm in now, I'm almost finished with. Well, I'm about halfway through it. The Matt Helm series. This is, I think, the eighth one or the ninth one, The Ravagers. This is a really fun series, uh, mystery, spy series, Early starts in the early 60s, goes all the way to the 90s, I think. I think there's about 30 of them. Quite different than the, than the movies. Uh, some people have heard of the movies, the Dean Martin movies, which, which came about as... Uh, in the bond, in the early James Bond era, when they were making, uh, trying to give everybody a, a fun spy uh, series, and that's where the the books come from too. The first book, all the, all the books have titles like the Ravagers, the Devastators, the Fornicators. That's probably not one of them, but it, pretty close. Um, the Retaliators, the any kind of aiders you can think of. Except the first one is called uh, Death of a Citizen. And it's a really good book, just even if you don't read the series, it's a really good um, uh, post-World War II, Cold War espionage book. It's pretty clear from the from the dramatic changes that were uh, that started taking place in book two that Donald Hamilton probably didn't conceive of it as a series because in the first book, the, Matt Helm's like a guy nice suburban husband whose wife works at a university and they happen to have a dinner party and uh, one of the guests at the dinner party is a physicist who's a Nobel uh, Prize winner or contender or something like that who happens to show up at this dinner party and then this woman walks in that Matt Helm knows from his service in World War II where he was part of a very violent uh, aggressive uh, special forces secret operation and uh, but now he's out of shape and and uh, you know he doesn't think about those days or anything so he gets involved in this um, this espionage for that I think they live in Albuquerque or someplace like that I should know after reading seven books, but someplace in, in Mexico so you know and, and in, in the second book uh, decides to go back to work for the the civilian, the post-war version of this agency, and you know, they have to they have to do a lot of rejiggering of things. He has to get divorced, and his family has to have aliases and, and stuff to live under, so they don't, so he doesn't have to worry about his kids getting kidnapped every. So they basically turn him into a, a completely different character with the second book. But they're really uh, fun to read. They, they do. Ha he has quite a sense of humor. First-person narrator. Um, so they're a lot funnier than, than James Bond books and quite absurd situations he gets into. It's funny to have a international man of mystery uh, kind of spy guy who's uh, an American living in the Southwest. And so he has a lot of uh, secret, like, like in this one, he's in Canada. I mean, he's always in, you know, some... You know, it's not like in New York and Paris, and he's usually working around someplace in the United States. So I, I really enjoy those books. Uh, those are two I'm going to continue with in between other things I'm reading. There's a bunch of series that I've had to drop out of because of my 100 book challenge, though. Like, I've been rereading the Travis McGee books. I think I'm about halfway through those. I really like those. I, and when I say rereading re them, I. 
uh, I was kind of hit and miss before. I've read uh, a bunch of different ones, but never consistently in order. But I ran out of the ones that I own. So six or seven more I'd have to buy. So that's on hold for a while. Same thing with uh, Kinsey Malone series, the Sue Grafton 80s, set in the 80s, started in the 80s and, and continued in the 80s. Uh, a is for Alibi, um, those books. I think I was up. To, I think I'm up to M or N, but I, I don't own any of the rest of those yet either. So those will have to wait. I kind of got. There's a few things that annoy me about that series. There's some things that are good, but she's a little too friendly with the cops for for my taste in private eyes. I like when the when the private eyes are are more adversarial against against the powers that be, and she's kind of too friendly with them. So that gets annoying sometimes. She might as well just have stayed a cop. Uh, what else? The Jack Reacher, I dropped out of those two. There's just too many prequels. Uh, people who know Reacher from the series or the Tom Cruise movies or even actually the books um, will know that he's a drifter guy. He goes from town to town. Uh, Lee Child was very influenced by the Traps McGee books by John D. MacDonald. Anyway, Jack reaches a drifter, goes town to town, and gets into adventures. And every once in a while they do a prequel about, about back when he was an MP or some boring stuff. And you get to those and you're just like, ah, I, just, I want him to walk into another town and just have a have a conflict with the local, uh, you know, boss who's... who's, who's scamming the highway commission or something and you know but actually mil killing a lot of people too and and or got some kind of experimental uh, sound device going off in town driving people crazy those kind of things those are the the, the really fun Jack Reachers and and about halfway through the series he starts to and this is even before he started letting his brother write them so at a certain point, I think it was around the 16th of the 25 books or whatever, it was just going to be another prequel about his time in the, in the military police, something like that I just don't care anymore. So that one I definitely dropped. I doubt I'll pick it up again, but Travis McGee I'd like to pick up again. Kinsey Malone I'd like to pick up again. There's, of course, and there's a... You know, I'm, I'm always wanting to reread Chandler and Hammett and um, uh, Ross McDonald's, another brilliant one, uh, Lou Archer. That's a great series of books. I could read that again and again. <coughs> so I'd like to read those again. Those are really good. Anyway, I'm just rambling. So that's a little bit of a catch up on what I've been doing this week. I'm uh, just uh, felt like I needed to read some mysteries, and since I've been reading so many uh, period books and uh, adventure books and nonfiction, I'm in the middle of that Gaskell. Uh, I finished volume one of the Gaskell um, biography of Charlotte Bronte, which I like a lot. I think I'll do a. a video on that when I finish the second volume. That's it. Hope you're all doing well. Keep reading.